Welcome to my channel everybody, my name is Chrissy, and today I'll be giving you a prediction reading for the 1st of August. Um, if you are interested in checking out my August um, prediction video, I'll leave it over here. So check that out at the end of the video, and I think I talk a lot in that about the housing crisis and where that's all headed. That's going to be sort of the first part of the economic collapse I do feel so maybe check that out and see what I've got in that video um, if you are new don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know my videos pop up please like guys as that helps me a lot too and always comment because you know I love that I love hearing from you guys we all have some great chats on this channel um, so now I also got I just decided this week that I'll start something new about a lot of you have been asking me, could I do a little reading for here and there, different places, different um, countries. And so I thought I'd get on and just do a little bonus reading. I'd ask the guides and just at the end we'll do a bonus reading. And today it's on New Zealand. So if you're from New Zealand or you're interested in watching that, I'll just do a little um, bit of information at the end. So that's just something new I thought I'd start doing um, for you guys out there. So now we'll just get started and we'll talk about the current global energies and the great awakening process now we've got to not hide away anymore it's showing if you're watching my video here it's showing us leaving the cave now when i get the image of a cave and i'm sure you men would relate to this because we all know even us women know that men love to go to the cave and do their have their bloke time we laugh about it when they go to the sheds and do all their bloke things um but this is for all of us it's like we're coming and emerging out of the cave now what i'm getting around this cave is that we we'll come out of that darkness and we're really in the light so we're really starting to see the light um it's like i keep talking about it on here how we're seeing the world very differently but it's also about when i think of that cave energy and it's funny isn't it when they're talking about the cave because i just got that visual again of i talked to you about the cartoon bat fink the other day and he had these wings of steel this was a little cartoon from many many years ago and he he had bulletproof bat wings and he could hold them up and protect himself and that's what we were like and that's why we're kind of emerging from the cave now now what they're also saying to me about the cave is that we've all been in there kind of together and we've all grown um with our wisdom our experiences we've shared conversations the cave is somewhere you go to kind of um regroup is what they're saying when we think of cavemen and things like that it's it's a protective place um that you protects you from <laughs> well i could say wild animals but we, in our case we could probably say a lot of these people who are waking up because we have had to protect ourselves and go into the cave but um there's a lot of wisdom that has been shared in the cave and now we're all coming out and we're um really seeing the light now but we've we've also like the bat energy got this i talk about it a lot it's those wings um they say are like a <laughs> what are they a shield of steel um but what they're saying is we've become like steel we're very hardened to um anybody sort of hurting us we had to go anonymous for a little while because i did say we had to protect ourselves but now we've got that sort of inner strength that really good stability that i talk about a lot to be able to face these things now and now we're really out into the light um it's it's sort of like it's like being exposed but exposed in a good way it exposed in the sense that we're confident we're comfortable with who we are we're we're definitely i would say um ooh, what's the word we're definitely um very satisfied with the decisions that we've made in the past couple of years i feel like we've had a lot of really good confirmation that we made the right choices along the way and these are all the things that give us that really good stability and power um in ourselves and i know like you guys relate to this caveman time you need that time away to think so it's like we've had to have that time away that thinking time we battled very hard in the beginning and then we sort of had to pull ourselves away and have this thinking time and regrouping time and then become stronger and like the bat fink and he's come out of the cave but now we're opened up and we're 
it, the word is like expanded, expanded into who we really are, expanded into our truth, um, and being honest with ourselves as well, um, and and not pandering. Is that the word? Yeah, to other people, um, we're really honest and and truthful to our own sort of desires as well and the things that we want moving forward if we don't want that life we chose to move away from it and that's a decision that we made but it's a decision that feels right now and I guess that's probably what I'm getting from the guides is we feel like we have made the right choices um I'll just see where else we go with this today yeah I'm getting that we shut the gate behind us. Like when we got off this narrative of the jab wheel and all these things I talk about, we went over here and I talk on this channel a lot, if you're new, about a place called Wilson's Well, which is behind the fence, a wooden fence. It's off tool time. And Wilson is a guy who looks out and he has these words of wisdom and knowledge. And, and we went behind the gate a while ago and we shut that gate behind us. It's showing me the latch was closed. And it did give us this protection from the narrative. So we stayed right out of this crazy narrative. Even all the rubbish that's coming now with the crisis, the economic turmoil, we stayed out of it because we shut the gate behind us um, because we saw it coming. So we knew we had to shut that gate so that government couldn't get to us. So I'm still getting that, that the gate, we shut the gate, there you go, we shut the gate on that a long time ago. So it's almost as if government can't get to us, but it's the reason they can't get to us, and I talk about this a lot, is because we're not vibrating at that level where we can be controlled. We vibrate at a very different level. I often talk about us being high on this mountaintop, um, but in, a, in and not looking down on people. I always talk about it. It's in humility. We're actually viewing things from a very different perspective to a lot of these people who are very stuck in this 3D sort of mindset um, where they can't see the full picture of what's going on. We, we do have that ability and that's the vibration that causes us to stay away from all this narrative and this government rollout because we see it coming. Um, so our vibration um, keeps us in a very different perspective. Um, and and it's, it's almost like if you think about it, because I live here in the mountains, I know some of you guys do it as well. Um, when you live in the mountains, you're living at a very different altitude and it takes time for your body to adjust. I remember I, when I first moved here, I moved from um, just a city. I moved from a city and then I moved out into the country and your vibration changes because of the altitude like to go running and, and things like this. This is why um, people training for the Olympics and things like that, they they train in altitude. Um, there's currently the Commonwealth Games at the moment going on. But when you're training at altitude, you work harder, your lungs work harder, your breathing's different. You have to sort of get control of it. It makes your lungs expanded. Well, this is kind of the energy that we're vibrating at. We've got this expansion in our body. And that's what I'm kind of relating to um, the reason that government and that can't get to us because we've expanded into a very healthy and whole place and we we know who we are we know what we want we know what we don't want that's even clearer and and that's what I'm getting it's that altitude um it's it's an example of altitude <laughs> you're not all living at altitude I am I'm about I don't even know <laughs> a long way above sea level but not everyone is living like that this is just a comparison of the vibration because everything has to, um, what's the word? It's like um, you become stronger when you're um, sort of living at higher altitudes. And I don't mean I'm stronger just because I live in the mountains. That's not what I mean. But this is just a comparison because your lungs have to work harder. Your breathing has to change. Um, the air is very clear. I know for anyone who lives in the mountains, the sky is very blue, the air is very clear. So this is us. This is us. The vibration that we're on, anyone watching my channel, doesn't matter if you're living in the city or where you're living, um, this is what it is now. Your life has changed because you have internally changed your spirit, your soul, the way that you think. 
um, the way that you receive information has changed and that's what gives you that 360 degree view because we get gut feelings, we sense things, we have a knowing. I always talk about it. It's a knowing. What was the knowing when we first stood up that something wasn't right? We didn't even know, but we just knew. And even for you people that have joined my channel along the way, there's, there's this turning point where you just go, no, something doesn't feel right. I'm going to hop off now and I'm going to climb that mountain and go over here so that I can see what's really going on. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you today. Um, we're away from the narrative. We're not caught up in it anymore at all. Um, yes, we will get the ripple effect. And I always say that we will still get affected, like obviously the cost of fuel and eating and everything else. Um, I did say, I think yesterday, we're going to get this little lull period in that. But it's only going to be a ripple. We're not right in the deep end, like the rock getting thrown into the, the lake. We're not in those big ripples, we're just the little ripples on the shore. Um, I think I said it last week, we're the ones sitting on the beach with our little feet just paddling in the little ripples that are coming over them. It doesn't have a huge effect on us. Um, I'll see what else we get today. These people waking up cannot believe this is happening. They are like this. They are pulling their hair out. They feel like they are in a bad dream and someone has to pinch them and wake them up. None of this is feeling real to these people waking up. And and the worst part about it is to think you've been lied to by your government leaders and your doctors and all the people that you've got trust in. I mean, we know how we all feel about that. Imagine these people that have been getting jabbed continuously and they get hold of some of that Pfizer data and that information and you know, know that their doctors might have known about that and they're still injecting them. Like, can you imagine how your trust would just go zoop down to nothing? So this is what these people are currently experiencing. That's why that great awakening process is so huge and very important, as I always say, to stay away from. Um, I'll just see if there's anything more today. See, the guides are showing me that people are getting sicker. They are getting sicker. We know it. If you're here on my channel, I don't know if you guys in America or you would in America know. Um, I think Biden's got CV again. He just had it, got a clear test, had all the um, tablets, whatever they are, and he's got it again. Like, hello? four jabs later and all the rest and he's still got it and they're still just pushing the same narrative it is absolute insanity i know you guys see it on my channel we just go what is even happening here so this is how mad this world is getting it really is oh people are getting sicker they're showing me like people with that thermometer out of their mouth just constantly getting the flu having temperatures getting sick getting cv then getting cv again this is like becoming a recurring nightmare. Probably not for you if you're watching my channel. We're very removed from all of that repetitive stuff. But this is what's happening. They're showing the thermometer out of the mouth and people are getting sicker and sicker. And people even younger are getting sicker and sicker. Once upon a time, we just focused on natural immunity with the flu and things. And people just got over it and then they were fine. But now it's just... As we know, hopefully not, but the immune systems are starting to drop. So I'm definitely getting that thermometer coming out of the mouth. People are having to take their temperatures all the time because they're feeling ill. That's the visual. They're feeling ill. And they're starting to know it. Because you think about it, a lot of these people, gosh, here in Australia, I don't know what it's like where a lot of you guys live, but here in Australia, people would be flat out getting the flu maybe once a year. They might get a touch of hay fever. This is pre-pandemic touch of hay fever, September, October, you know, come spring, pretty normal. Um, and maybe the flu once a year, if that, the odd bug would go around, like tummy bug. But now it's just going around and then around and there's all this stuff going around. God knows what else is going to go around in the future. But there's this, just everybody getting sick. They're getting sick. Oh, we knew it was always going to be like that. Oh, my God. They don't even still see it, some of these people. It's just so frustrating, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to um, just see if there's any closing messages for us today, and then I'll touch on New Zealand. Oh, 
gosh, today I'm getting that energy of like Stonehenge. Um, they're saying like Stonehenge is, is a very um, spiritual place of stability. It's got great stability and it's saying like we're like the pillars of Stonehenge. So it's showing us like very stiff standing up. Um, and that's what we're like. We're very, very stable in our energy now. And that's the image they're giving me. Because we've um, connected together with like kind too, it, it's, it's like Stonehenge. There's all this really good energy. And that's the visual they're giving me for you guys watching my channel. We're like Stonehenge. We're like these big pillars of strength. Oh, that's nice today. We might look up Stonehenge and see what the sort of meaning around Stonehenge is. But they're showing me like all of us standing around that's you on my channel um are like the pillars in stonehenge well they're like the sort of they're like pillars they're like just big rectangular blocks really aren't they but there's this great energy and stability around stonehenge and that's what we're getting today we've become very very stable oh that's nice isn't it we're finally feeling a bit of stability in our life um so i'm going to touch now on new zealand for anyone out there who's interested stay watching um, if not, don't forget to hit the like buttons and I will just talk a little bit about New Zealand. As we all know out there, Jacinda Ardern is a global leader who's been jet sitting around the world as well. Um, I'll close my eyes. Let's see what we get. <sighs> Ooh, I hope this isn't insulting for anybody over there, but... Um, I'm getting these visuals of people doing the haka and that's what I think of when I think of New Zealand I think of the haka because I absolutely love watching it when the all blacks play or there's footy on or any of these tribal sort of Hakas, I think there's different ones isn't there? I'm not quite sure but I'm getting the people are wanting to do the haka and they're wanting to frighten Jacinda Ardern off a cliff. They can't it's showing me they're wanting to like use their energy and their power to like push her off a cliff. So I'm guessing um, that people have had enough of her over there. Um, they would like her to sort of, <laughs> um, what's the word, move on. Um, and this is just an image. This isn't literally people want to push her off a cliff. Some might, but this is about they want to use their energy to kind of get rid of her and oust her out of parliament. I'm definitely getting that today. <laughs> that people in New Zealand they just they would love to use their vibration and just put their thoughts on that and try and get her out because they know she's taking over New Zealand and it's in a bad way um it's not for their benefit it's not for the people's benefit hang on a minute I'm getting that she creates a lot of division she creates a lot of division in New Zealand um I'm getting this like separate sort of south and north separation. Um, she creates a lot of these things herself. Um, she works on like how she can best control people. Um, very good at manipulating the media over there. She She's very, very, um, she's very involved with what goes out on the media. It's very important to her that people are getting the right messages. Um, she doesn't want anything skewed or like go to go skew if. She wants everything, as we know, on the agenda path. She wants people to only see what she wants to tell them. Um, yes, yeah, she's very controlling and very mind manipulating. Um, She's very, very clever, actually. She's quite smart, to be quite honest. Um, just a true tyrant. Oh, there seem to be a lot of them popping up all over the globe, doesn't there? Um, I'll just see what else we get today. See, I do get it that people will always fight back in New Zealand. You don't cave easily. It's not a walk in the park for her. Um, people don't cave easily. You're very strong characters. Again, it's that tribal warrior inside of you over there that a lot of people have. I do believe that um, people do stand up to her when when the going gets really tough. 
And that might be a little bit away yet. It might not happen straight away. Um, it, it might actually take another kind of global movement to rock New Zealanders into action. I don't feel like that's going to happen straight away. But if there's global movement in other places, that's when people start to stand up and rise um, to that challenge. Um, hang on. Gosh, I'm getting that Jacinda Ardern. She's like put the plug in the bath. So it's showing me like she hasn't thrown the bath water out. Um, what's that saying? Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Well, she hasn't thrown anything out. Um, she's kept a lot of the old policies and a lot of the things from the past. Um, it, but she is crossing over. So she hasn't sort of thrown out the bath water yet. Um, she's still... Um, what would you say? She's kind of letting things stagnate. If you think of water sitting in a bath and it's sitting there for ages, it stagnates and it starts to get a bit um, old and things start to grow and it gets a bit moldy and smelly. So this is what I'm kind of getting. But she is drafting new plans. She's See, this is the false illusion. This is what a lot of these global leaders are doing. It's that false illusion that they're creating at the moment that everything's normal, there's nothing to see here. But all the while, like I said the other day in my video about drafting, she's drafting up her plans for the future moving forward. We know they are. We know they are. If you're on my channel, you know they are. This is They're heading this down the great reset agenda. We know that's what's happening. There's global, global movement and coming together around the reset. So she is drafting these plans. But in the meantime, she's trying to give people the illusion in um, New Zealand that life is normal and, and everyone's still got the status quo. But we know it's going to unfold. It's going to unfold eventually. It's just a matter of when she pulls the plug in the bath. And I'm definitely getting that for New Zealand. She's drafting up her plans Oh, these people, they drive you crazy, don't they? They're so conniving and sneaky. But you you people just don't lay down. You you do stand up when when the time comes to stand up. So I feel like New Zealand, you have got a lot of strength and that people do stand up when the time comes. But see, the status quo, because there's nothing really changing, um, Every it's the illusion. Everything seems fine in New Zealand at the moment. Oh, uh, the cost of living certainly sends some alarm bells to pretty much everybody, but I feel like she's still drafting her plan so she doesn't have to implement too much change straight away. She's trying not to make it obvious. See, we know all the world's getting hit by everything, renewables, everything. Um, so she's trying to uh, bring it in in a more subtle way is what I'm getting for Jacinda Ardern. She's trying to be more subtle about it. <laughs> and there's a lot of cows over there and sheep in New Zealand, is there? Well, sheep, <laughs> definitely. I wonder if sheep emit um, <laughs> the gases as well. Oh, anyway, there's a thought, but a lot of farms over there, for sure, you'll get... <laughs> She'll be drafting. Um, all right, well, I'll, I'm just going to leave you with that today because I'm just so bewildered about the sheep and cow farts as we talk about it on my channel here all the time um look take care everybody i hope that helps you a little bit in new zealand <laughs> at least you've got a little bit of a quiet period at the moment go and enjoy that <laughs> oh it's just too much isn't it coming in everybody look i'm gonna say goodbye from australia have a wonderful day um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in that next video bye from australia bye everybody bye